night there were shepherds in the fields outside the village guarding their flocks of sheep. And suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terribly frightened, but the angel reassured them. Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news of great joy for everyone, a Savior. Yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born tonight in Bethlehem, the city of David. And this is how you will recognize him. You will find the baby lying in a manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes. And suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host from heaven, armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. The angels left and the shepherds said to each other, Come, let us go to Bethlehem and see this wonderful thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they ran to the village and they found Mary and Joseph and, yes, a baby lying in a manger. The shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angels had said to them about this child. All who heard their story were astonished. But Mary kept these things in her heart. The shepherds went back to their fields and flocks, glorifying and praising God. Jesus was born in the town of Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. And the same time came wise men from the east to Jerusalem asking, where is the newborn king of the Jews? We've seen his star that arose and have come to worship him. Herod was deeply disturbed by this question, as was all of Jerusalem. He called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of the religious law. Where do the prophets say the Messiah will be born, he asked. In Bethlehem, they said, for this is what the prophet wrote. O Bethlehem of Judea, you're not just a lowly village of Judah, for a ruler will come to you who will be the shepherd for my people, Israel. This prophecy is found in Micah 5 and verse 2 and 2 Samuel chapter 5 verse 2. Both were written 700 years before Jesus was born. So Herod sent a message to the wise men asking them to come and see him. At this meeting, he learned the exact time when they first saw the star. And then he told them, go to Bethlehem, search diligently for this child. And when you find him, come and tell me that I may go and worship him too. After this meeting, the wise men went on their way, and once again, the star appeared to guide them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over a place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house where the child and his mother were, and they fell down, and they worshipped him. And they opened their treasure chest, and they gave him gifts of gold, of frankincense, and of myrrh. But when it was time to leave, they went another way because God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. After the wise men were gone, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, flee to Egypt with the child and his mother, the angel said. Stay there until I tell you to return because Herod will try and kill the child. That very night, Joseph left for Egypt with the child and, and Mary, his mother, and they stayed there until Herod's death. This fulfilled what the Lord had spoken through the prophet, out of Egypt have I called my son. Herod was furious when he learned that the wise men had outwitted him. He sent soldiers to kill all the baby boys in and around Bethlehem who were two years and older, under two years old and under because of the wise men had told them that the star had first appeared to them about two years before. Then later when Herod died, God's angel appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt. Get up, 
Take the child and his mother and return to Israel. All those who wish to murder the child are dead. So Joseph obeyed. He arose and he took the child and his mother and he re-entered Israel. When he heard, though, that Herod's son had taken over as king of Judah, he was afraid to go there. So 